Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. And tonight we have the new release of Stone Farking Woot Stout. Woot Stout. This is this year's version, the fourth in the series, the 13% uh, ABV Stout with pecans, partially aged in bourbon barrels. Um, I mean, this one's a great one. They, they said on the bottle that this one's going back to the original recipe from the first one. We've got uh, each one, but at 13%, we're going to need some friends to come over before we do a vertical. Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't be able to really talk through the last <laughs> two, I think, if we did them vertical. Uh, but no, um, so if you guys are watching this, you probably know this beer. It's, uh, it's highly sought after, highly rated. It's a good one. And we've enjoyed every one we've had thus far, and so let's do this one. I thought 3.0 was really good. Yeah, I don't think they put. I was noticed they didn't put 4.0 on this. No, I don't know why. So I thought they were just going to keep going with that. I was about to call it 4.0, but I think 3.0 was kind of uh, maybe they were trying to get away from that uh, way of uh, describing the vintage. So oh, this well. just says Stone Farking Woot Stout. Starring Greg Coke, um, Drew Curtis, Will Wheaton, Stone Collaboration 2016 on this one. So they're getting away from the 3.0 or whatever. Um, oh well. Cool looking bottle though, I'm not gonna lie. Look at that bad boy. So. Yeah, it's very sci fi ish, which yeah. is awesome. It's really cool. Um, all right, let's do let's it. Let's do it, yeah, I'm sorry. You've already tried it, so I, you're <laughs> killing me. Yeah. Pretty it's freaking just dark. Black, yeah. Yeah, you it, see that. You can see from the pour. It, it looked thin, though. Um, yeah, it poured a little thin. It it didn't. For uh, thirteen percent, it doesn't really hold that well. No, it doesn't. I agree with you. Uh, just tan brown head there. Doesn't really. Yeah, kind of just. <laughs> kind of sneak and do the nose. Yeah. It's warmed up enough. I don't get. I get very mild bourbon. I expect a big bourbon. I get a lot of booziness I do and get some a hint of vanilla. I get some alcohol on that. Yeah, I do get some booziness, maybe a little vanilla, but very little bourbon though. No, I agree. I mean, it's there. There is some bourbon nose to it. It's just, I expected big bourbon. If I remember from 3.0, I mean, that was a big bourbon nose. Yeah. But it's been a while. Now let's do it. A little bit of chocolate. Yeah. All right. Cheers. 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 Oh, that's good. Yeah. It is, that's boozy, that, that burns. <laughs> um, that's got some heat. That was my impression last night as well. It's um, got some heat. But I, I do get a little pecan. I admit I get some, nut, I wouldn't know if it was pecan, but I get nuttiness. Yeah. Um, get some chocolate, get some nuttiness. I get vanilla and I will say, so I, I had this last night and as I drank more of it and settled in, I got more and more vanilla and okay. bourbon character. Um, but just fresh first sip, I agree with you 100%. I mean, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of pecan, mm -hmm. nuttiness, um, hint of vanilla, some boot. I mean, I, I, I get some booze. I got booziness all through the bottle last night that I had. Um, even at the very end, after mm -hmm. sipping on this bottle for you know an hour or more, Still got it. Um, not not in a bad way. It's just thirteen percent. It's there. Um, but I told him last night when I talked to him, I said, "I bet this is going to be phenomenal when it just kind of mellows out a little bit." Yeah, when it settles, um, it's a little thin. Um, mm -hmm. I'd like it to be a little bit thicker than that. I, I do get some roastiness, but just very mild yeah, roastiness. Not much bitter. It's pretty sweet. I mean, or balanced. Um, I don't think this, and again, I'm preferenced towards sweet stouts, and so I always try to remind myself of that. I don't think this is overly sweet, do you? No, no, not okay. at all. I, all right. I think it's a little more on the bitter, I shouldn't say more bitter, but it's balanced. It's balanced. It's okay. got some bitterness, it's, not it's got overly some sweetness. Sweet, yeah. But it's not a big Russian Imperial style no. bitter beer, no. No, it doesn't have that flavor. I mean, that, that may be what they were going for, but that's not what they ended up with. It's really more of a, mm. a balanced stout. I think it's well balanced. I think the flavors all integrate it very well. It's chocolate, a little roasty, a little bitter, a little sweet, vanilla, but it is, I mean, that 13% that, 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 that definitely is there. Um, yeah, it's not I'm like really, it creeps up on you. I mean, it hits you right yeah. off. 
But I will say, mm. I really enjoy this beer. It's good. And I and, and again, I had the advantage of having this last night, and I gave it a four or five. I'm gonna stick with that. Um, I know you're probably not, maybe you're not there yet. It doesn't sound. I'm not like quite it. to four or five. I mean, I, I'm above a four two five. I'm between a. I'm between four two five and four five, probably closer to a four three four mm -hmm. three, probably four three seven five. Yeah. Um, but not quite to a four five, which yeah. is weird because I just bought extra. So you'd think that I would have rated a four five. I, I will say from my last night experience, I think you will enjoy this more as time goes on. I mean, I, I not just with those bottles. I think with this beer, this bottle, I bet before you leave here tonight, you enjoy it even more. So you think I'll bump it up to a four or five just after sipping Maybe. on it for a while? I, I just, you know how beer evolves while you're drinking it. it you know, um, this was one that just grew and grew and grew on me. I had the opportunity to have a. I was in Chicago and had a rare, uh, Bourbon County rare this weekend. It was the same way. I was like, this is great, but is it? You know, it was off a seller list, so it was a little mm -hmm. expensive. And then by the end of that bottle, I was, I was in love with it. I mean, it was a top contender for me. Not that I'm saying this is Bourbon County Rare. I'm just saying bottles, as you open them, evolve. And they I, open up. You're, yeah, you're, exactly. And this becomes I, acclimated. For me, this is one of those that did the same thing. Um, it is. It's. Good. I wasn't just taken aback by the first sip. I was like, holy crap, this is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Which some beers do that. Oh, yeah. Um, this one didn't, but by the end of the bottle, I just, I loved it. I really did. And, and it was a solid four or five for me. Well, I think because it's so well balanced, I mean, I, I'll probably... The next time I open one, I, I may bump it up. It may also be because we've been drinking IPAs uh, earlier. I, mm. For whatever reason, I, I can't really get it up to a four or five, but it's it's close. Uh, yeah. It's well balanced. I think if it was thicker, it'd be an easy four or five. Yeah, I agree. It, it is knocked a little bit from the from the, the thinness of it. I don't remember the older ones, the 2.0 and the 3.0. I, I don't remember how thin or thick they were. It's been so long since I've had them, and I haven't had that many. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a, a vertical. We do, we'll just have to vertical. pay people to come over and... Or just start early and make it, <laughs> make it a really, really long day. Two people, <sighs> four by Ooh, Yeah, that sounds about to start like at noon. Yeah. And just sip all day, but <laughs> either way, uh, we'll have to do vertical just to compare it, but, cause I, I don't remember them being this thin, but then again, we become more critical because we've had so many really good the more, yeah, the more The more you drink, yeah, exactly. But, but oh well. This one's wonderful, guys. That's you good. need to try it. Uh, four two five four five. We're just going to continue to sip on this one. We got a little bit of time to enjoy uh, this bottle, and uh, hope you guys can get your hands on it. Yeah, get some. It, so, in the closest big city to us, it sold out really, really quick. But in our city, most people like PBR and Coors Light, so we were lucky to have enough cases that we could go back for more uh, until people find out about it. Um, but hopefully near you, you can get it. And if not, contact us. We have a few bottles left. Yeah, I don't, and this is a, this is kind of a funny story. At our, our store, we, you know, obviously we go often enough. We know the, uh, the beer, the beer guys at the store. And, uh, one of them just brought out a case of it. And it's like, how much do you want? <laughs> and I said, no limit. And he's like, no limit. And I could have taken four cases, I guess. I was the first one there. Uh, I did not. When he called me to tell me I got three, I was like, you bought three of the cases? <laughs> There's no. no way you'll get rid of that. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, no, but uh, so if you had a hard time finding it, don't hate me because I... <laughs> but it was funny to see him just hold like a fresh box of stone loose. I was like, what do you want? And I could have yeah. just been like, hand me the box, please. Yeah, that's... Or more. <laughs> I, it, should, I shouldn't brag. That's just bragging. I'm sorry. It's not worth buying a case, but it's worth you know no, buying you a should, few. I mean, at least I, I two to three. Drink one, sell one, trade one. I mean, you know. Yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, a good one. Uh, definitely get your hands on it. Anything else? No. As always, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.